Welcome back to Cloud 941. We're going to go quicker now. We're a little bit down the line in races. We've got four left to go. Now, this first one, I'll let you go first because this is the hardest one. County Commission, this is the toughest race to call. In, I, I've just agonized over this. I've changed my mind a million times. Who's your pick? Uh, Carolyn. We're going to go. I'm going to pick Carolyn. Um, mayor, uh, lots of experience uh, in the seat, uh, worked with the city. A former Democrat, understands the issues on both sides of the aisle. Uh, you know, a, uh, a, a again, a woman who is rock solid, uh, you know, uh, in, in understanding politics and understanding the people of this community. Uh, that's not saying, I, I've worked with Jono for many, many years. He's a great man. He's, a, he's an expert. Uh, I know he's being supported by some heavy money, uh, realtor money, which is interesting. Jono's expertise is in, uh, in the environment, and I have great respect for Jono. Uh, so, but uh, I have to go with uh, with with uh, Carolyn. Okay, well, I'm going with the inside baseball kind of stuff here, the the political nuance stuff, uh, in in making my pick, and that's what's put me over the top. Carolyn Mason, uh, Republican Party of Sarasota, would dearly love to have a black female in the county commission. That would be a real coup in what they're trying to do in building the the base of the party. Um, so, so they're 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 strongly backing Carolyn Vern Buchanan is, and the chairman of the party is also. Um, Jonah Miller has, it has a, a huge war chest, has three times more money than Carolyn. John Malarkey, the wild card in the race of the independent, basically has a libertarian kind of platform. If he's gotten his message out, he could pull some Republicans away from Carolyn. But here's why I'm picking Carolyn, and my head tells me tells me that John O'Miller is going to win because all the indicators are there, the backers, the, the clout, all of that. But I pick Carolyn because of one reason, one reason only, one female versus two males. The female always wins in Sarasota County. Always. It's one female against two males. Women tend to vote for women, especially in races further down the ballot. Men will split their vote. I'm going with Carolyn Mason. Next race is public defender race. Okay, I'm a little biased here. I was in this race. Well, you can't talk about it. <laughs> I'm That's going for that one. You, you, you're dead. You're dead. You can't talk about it. You're prejudiced. You said it. Uh, let me talk a little bit about it. Uh, I know I know uh, Adam very well. Adam Fabruch, great man, uh, a man of honor, you know, a great fella. Uh, I worked with him on boards. Uh, Larry, you know, Larry, uh, I have some concerns about Larry, but um, again, um, uh, I pick that given the demographics that Larry's going to win. Uh, that's just the way it's, it, it's going to be. Uh, it's one of those seats where uh, not a lot of people, not a lot of interest, not a lot of concern because it doesn't make any policy. So I believe that uh, it's going to go to Larry. I think that the general is going to be exactly like the primary where I won in Sarasota County, but Larry beat me in Manatee County. Same thing is going to happen. Tabruge is going to win Sarasota County, but Manatee County is heavily Republican. That's going to carry it for Eager. All right, next race. we got to go quick because we're running out of time. Supervisor of Elections, Kathy Dent, Republican, incumbent. Barry Sullivan, the Democrat, left coat Kloss, independent. Who's your pick? Kathy. Uh, experience, uh, been through it all, uh, particularly the 2006 election. Uh, made her come out smelling like a rose. Uh, she's got she got the experience. Uh, she hasn't been in office that long, but she's handled all the hard hard issues. And again, I go back to a woman, uh, uh, very good at what she does. She, you know, it's Kathy. Yeah, I I agree. I, I think the Herald Tribune endorsement was huge. They have been her biggest and most vocal critic critic. And however, they in their in their editorial they said, look, we're not we haven't been especially thrilled with Kathy Dent, but the other two people are not serious candidates. They haven't run serious campaigns. And uh, Kathy Dent, uh, you know, objectively, she's passed all the tests and, and and all of that. So, all right, last race, tax collector. We got to be quick here. Uh, Barbara Ford Coates versus Donna Clark. I'm going with Ford Coates because a lot of Republicans are going to vote for Ford Coates. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Donna. Uh, because I think we need some fresh blood in there. 24 years, Republicans have never contested uh, this seat. They got a great candidate in uh, Donna Clark. Uh, she got the business experience. She's got the uh, experience in the legislature. She's the only one in this race that's actually passed tax legislation. She understands what it means. She understands what's behind it. She's got some great ideas. I think this is going to turn out like the uh, like the property appraiser. People are, you know, a tax collector. You haven't done anything for me lately. What are you going to do for me? I think Donna can do something for him, and I think Donna's going to win this one. Okay, real it's quick. It's going to be a squeaker. 
Okay, thanks, Rich. Real quick, let's do our Weasel of the Week. The First Baptist Church in Tacoma has put up a, 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 a message on their moniker saying to support Amendment 2. This is the, the moniker cost about $1,000. Some idiots pulled up in a white van, jumped out, and defaced the sign by spraying, re, spraying re, uh, red spray paint all over it. Um, these guys are the weasels of the week. Look, when you do something like this, you do not help your cause. You cause more people to vote against you because of your vandalism and, and against what you stand for uh, than, you, than you persuade. This church has been around for 50 years. They have never had an incident of vandalism. This is the first time, and it's because of what I believe is a very innocuous amendment, Amendment 2, which simply states that marriage, uh, marriage is defined as, as a union between a man and a woman. Um, it's sad to see people go down this road. Defacing political signs and political messages uh, is, is contrary to the First Amendment and what America is all about. These two characters, hopefully we'll catch them within the next few days. They win the title of Weasel of the Week. That's it. That's it for Cloud 941. Next week, State Senate candidate Morgan Bentley on the night before the big election. See you next week.